Lastly, let's look at a few different types of reflexes. And you probably know all of these ones. The first one we talked about here, like touching something hot or touching something that gives you pain, like a needle. The proper name is called a withdrawal reflex. Because you're pulling your arm away, you're withdrawing it. Another type of reflex that's common is sneezing. If you get some dust in your nose, you sneeze without even being able to control it. Blinking is another type of reflex, as well as coughing. This one here is if you ever get a fright, you might remember that you instantly duck your head down, curl your shoulders over, maybe you put your hands up to protect yourself. This is a whole lot of movements that happen all together and we call it the startle reflex. And animals have evolved the startle reflex to protect their body if there's danger around. And that's why humans, we still have this reflex when we get a fright. The last one here, this reflex only happens in babies or infants. And then we grow out of it as we become adults. It's called the grasp reflex. And if you've ever tried this with a baby, if you put your finger or another object and you brush it on the palm of their hand, they, without even thinking, grab and hold onto that object or your finger really tightly. And scientists think that the human babies have evolved this reflex so they can grab onto their mother as they're being carried around. And we can see this in other monkeys and apes where the baby has to hold on tight while the mum is climbing around trees or just walking around. So it's really important that a baby can hold on tight so they don't fall off and get injured.